Hello, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.5 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. In composite materials, changes in thickness should be done gradually, by terminating laminas one by one, in what is called, ply drop-off. In the figure showing the ply drop-off, we have three regions, A, A, B, and B, so, we make three parts, A, on the left, A, B, for the center region, and B, on the right. These three parts will be assembled later into a structure representing the whole ply drop-off region. Immediately after creating the three parts, we assemble them into three independent instances. Now, we merge them. Retaining the intersecting boundaries. Now, on the left tree, we mark the whole part, that is, part 1, as independent. Now, we go to module property, to create an entry for the lamina. We enter the properties as lamina, with Abacus wanting 6 properties, of which only 5 are independent, because G13 equals G12 for a fiber reinforced lamina. Now, we create 3 sections one for each part, because each one has different number of laminas. Section A with four laminas in a 90, 0, 0, 90 stacking sequence.
section AB, that lost its top lamina. and section B, that lost yet another lamina from the top. K1 is the bottom lamina, which is common to all three sections. Now we have to assign the three sections, each having its own LSS, to the correct region in the structure. Section A, goes to the left region. Section AB, goes to the center region. And Section B, goes to the region on the right. Note that a shell offset is used, to put the nodes at the bottom of all regions, because the bottom is a surface that is common to all the regions. Abacus knows where the mid-surface of the regions are, and automatically calculates the moment induced by having mid-surfaces that are offset from each other. As usual, we need a step. In field output request, specify 12 points through the thickness, to get results there. Previously, when we created the three sections, we accepted the default Simpson integration with three points per lamina, and we have four laminas in the thicker laminate, so we need four times three, 12 points. In module load, we start with the boundary conditions, clamped on the left. At the bottom, along axis Y, we put symmetry boundary conditions. We apply the load as a shell edge load on the edge on the right of the structure. Now we mesh. Now we create a job. Then, submit the job for analysis by Abacus. When the job is completed, we click results. The laminate deflects upwards, because the traction load is applied at the bottom surface of the laminate. Notice the stress concentration at the exact location of the ply drop off.
Okay, that's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.